Hello to my Geminis. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading. Geminis, this reading is for the 23rd through the 30th of September. This is your um, general readings to take only what resonates with you if you're interested in a personal reading. My information is down below in the description. Let's do it. Let's see what's in your cards. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Let's do it, Geminis. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you for those of you all who are letting me know some of the videos are not going up. My guess is that certain words are being caught like through um, YouTube's um, system and they may, you know, like may not make it to the upload. So thank you to those of you all who let me know when the videos um, don't go up because everybody's videos get filmed. So just want to shout out to those of you all who let me know when they don't go up because I'm just filming them, putting them in the queue. You know, going up, going to the next video, you know, that kind of thing. So thank you for letting me know. Thank you for alerting me. All right, let's get into it, Geminis. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Geminis. Let's go. Let's see what this week looks like for you all. Let's see what this week looks like. We're um kicking off with um the um okay. All right. We're starting out with the nine and the eight of swords here. Which um both of them are, you know, in this in your spirit, the spirit of you, right? Nine of swords here. You know, kind of sort of, you know, like I said, waking up from some nightmares, right? Here we have the um, Eight of Swords here, the um, Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups here, and also the Seven of Cups here. Yeah. So the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords speaks to Gemini, speaks to you, I'm fine. And it's not necessarily, necessarily about... Um, you, you're not trying to invoke any nightmares and it's like about your thought process it's really about kind of like your thought process of just like holding some heaviness of but just like um you know what other people think about you just kind of that right and not invoking any more of your own nightmares you know just kind of getting some fresh air when you having thoughts about what other people are thinking um and not necessarily, you know, moving on from past disappointment, like the Eight of Cups, like moving on from past disappointment, as tempting as it could be. Like a lot of times, let me give somebody an example of what I'm talking about. A lot of times people think, assume that people are reading cards, they're talking about themselves, right? I've seen people put those comments, like under videos, like uh, um, somebody put something under one of my videos one time before, it's like readers are projecting their own feelings onto readings. That's not true. That's not entirely true. I mean, other who I can't speak for any other readers. That's not entirely true, especially if you all are, if like say you're new to reading cards, right? And let's say you do personal readings. You could be drawing from movies. You could be drawing from books that you read. You could be drawing from events that you saw. It's not always what you have personally like are experiencing now or what you've gone through, right? Because, of course, just like anything, you could post something on social media and um, anybody will assume that it's about them. You could literally post. Um, that's, why you, that's why you'll commonly hear readers say, take what resonates with you. Just take only what resonates with you. You have to be on a particular frequency. And, and I can say this to you all because you all are literally ruled by the communication and messenger planet, right? And so things travel through the air. Take only what resonates with you. Somebody will look at this card right here and may assume the worst, right? But actually what this card connects us with is just a way, like a, a way of thinking. Like, are you trapped in a way of thinking? Like, can you see yourself thinking beyond that a particular thought, right? Like doing the mirror work. Like, for instance, let's say, for instance, somebody said to you, um, you'll never amount to anything. Like, let's say that. Let's say somebody said that to you a long time ago. Let's say somebody said, when you grow up, you'll never amount to anything. And that's stuck in your head. So it's hard for you to do the mirror work because the mirror is a portal, right? And that's hard. So no matter what, you never you can you can never think beyond that. So you can start you can start and stop every project in your life. And every time something doesn't go well, you think that thought boom, it pops in your mind. 
right, versus somebody else who, you know, they heard their whole life, oh, you can do it, you can do it, just apply yourself, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, so if something doesn't work out, you just kind of get back in the game, you, you try harder, you just get back into it, right, because you got the support around you, so Source is saying, you don't want to keep like uh, living nightmares over and over and over again as where your head and heart are constantly at war with each other because un unfortunately certain people you tell that to they're going to hop on that unfortunately oh my god you're carrying around so much you know they just hop on that they hop on that frequency and, and it's not really it's not going to help you it's not going to help you at all so sources say you gonna. I feel like looking at your cards here. Somebody's gonna break that. Like, what qualifies somebody? You know, you're looking for. Hey, this is where you're gonna pour into yourself, compassion into yourself, and because you know, depending on who you're telling that to, you know, this right here is that your head and heart are not gonna be at war with each other, where you feel like you maybe have poured out and you poured out to the wrong person, and they just pour nothing but toxicity into it. They're not really helping. It's just like a loop. Like the number eight is like a loop of just like, like a like trauma bonding, right? So source is saying when you are tempted, when you're kind of sort of tempted to do that, and the scales fall from your eyes, and you see, oh, this is going to take you into a loop of helping, like reliving something. Stop yourself. That's what's happening. So this is going to for you all. It's going to be a good week for you because. Once you once the scales fall from your eyes and you realize, oh, the number seven. Let's say for instance, um, last week, looking at here, you had a conversation with someone in your office because we're talking about money here. This could be work, right? And also love. You could have told a friend or something, right? And all they had to offer you was, you know, trauma bonding, right? It was really no solution. You know, oh, I, I know somebody I can refer you to, like a therapist or somebody that, you know, really is qualified who can help you with such and such. I'm not really qualified. You know, I can really, I, but I can help you, send you to somebody who can, you know, help you with that right there. Because sometimes people just don't know what to say, right? So Source is saying, you won't be looking for acceptance and approval anymore. You're cutting ties with something. Something you're saying, you're just moving on from. That's what's happening this week. Because... That's what this is right here. You're not going to put yourself back in a loop where you feel trapped. Like you're trapped in a bad dream. That's what's going to happen. That's what's happening for somebody this week. That's what's happening this week. So something you're saying, you know what? You're not going to restrict yourself. You got too many swords around you. Like you all are incredibly smart sign. You all are thinkers. You love to learn. So you're like, oh, no, no. You're not going to, you're not going to trap yourself that way. That's what this is. You're not going to trap yourself in this loop of just like, negative thinking going back into a um a, a system of just negative thinking especially when you work so hard to wake up from a nightmare letting energies pull you back into that way of thinking so that's what's happening this week so congratulations to you congratulations to you yeah congratulations to you yeah, so keep your vibrations high. Keep your vibrations high. Because you definitely want... You see this energy right here with this, like, witch hat on? That would be like putting yourself back into a dark spell. Like putting yourself back into a dark spell. So it's like somebody woke up one night and just decided to elevate. Mm-hmm. Yep, you decided, yeah, you know what? You're going to pour into yourself. So this is the Queen of Cups here. That's what you decided to do, Gemini. You decided, hey, you're gonna communicate with yourself. You're gonna pour into yourself because once you, once you notice yourself, you just say, okay, wait a minute. You need to um, do a cleansing. You know, somebody is gonna be doing some kind of a, um, you know, a spiritual cleansing of just like um, of yourself, um, so that you don't get overwhelmed. The Queen of Cups connects us with Pisces and Cancer, right? We had a full moon in Pisces. And so this is where you're mothering. Cancer is the mother of the zodiac. So mother of the zodiac. So you're going to mother or nurture yourself. You're going to pour into yourselves, right? Um, you're going to nurture yourself. And then, of course, we have the eight of cups there, right? So so that you can break some kind of a loop 
break some kind of a way of thinking so that you don't you don't go back into overwhelming yourself and so something was something was disappointing for you it's like somebody you may have shared something with some people or a person or something and something was just disappointing you know so you're just letting go of something you're moving on from something leaving something behind that's where you see this person walking away you're leaving something behind that's what you see on this cup right here your head and heart are not at war with each other so you're not looking for acceptance and approval and because of that sources approved you for something else so some of you all may be getting a phone call or something this week but it's because you left one thing behind you're closing out that cycle and so sources saying something else you've been waiting for is coming through right so let's see what that is let's see what that is and it's all in a creative space it's all in a creative space where you're learning something new it's like right up you know right in alignment with something you've been asking source for writing something so it's something about learning something so um Something valuable. Remember, pentacles is not always about money. It's just like the value of something. Something that's going to be a value to you. That's going to add to your value, add to your worth, right? Something powerful, right? Um, something that's going to be, um, this is a magician card. So you'll get a message. Somebody's going to get a message this week, right? Um, either... Something that you initiated, you're going to get some kind of feedback this week. Something that you initiated, you're going to get some kind of feedback, right? About something that you initiated, right? Something that you initiated. So here we have the, um, so your anxiety about something will be going away very, very soon. Remember, I'm reading the cards upright and in reverse. So two situations happening right here. So again, reading it upright and reverse, right? So um, on one hand, um, so a lot of people have a whole lot of ideas about just kind of sort of how you communicate that's one a lot of people have a lot of ideas about how you communicate um about a lot of things um because you're not looking for other people's acceptance and approval you just won't go along with the, just everybody's flow so it you know but for you something that you initiated so let's say for instance because you all love to learn let's say for instance somebody decided they want to because this right here you this is open book right here Let's say, for instance, you decided to um, take a writing class. You want to learn how to write a book. This open book right here. Like, let's say, you know, you you um, usually tell, let's say you're usually an open book. Usually you tell people, hey, you're about to, you know, take a writing class. You want to write your you want to write your story, you want to write your book, right? Usually you tell me everybody, hey, you want to, you want to write, write your book, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and let's say, for instance, you just decide you're not doing that anymore. You know, you're not, you're not doing that anymore because you understand that it just causes you just way too much anxiety. You know, depending on who you're telling, you're no longer an open book, Right? It's just too much conversation around. It's been causing you too many nightmares, you know. So you just decided to be a little bit more private because it's just causing you too many nightmares, right? It's just causing too much confusion for you for whatever reason, right? So you decided to, hey, and it makes you feel like you're walking a tightrope, right? So on one hand, somebody's going to be getting some, something you initiated. Like, so the thing that you initiated, you said, okay, yeah, I got a good idea. I'm going to write a book. And so you've already started the somebody put in some kind of a um, application or something that you want to take some classes to write a book so this is the week that somebody may be i'm saying maybe getting a call back letting you know this is you can you can start the process whatever that means this is um some kind of an approval for something so some kind of process you have a whole lot of ideas you've been waiting on a phone call or whatever so this may be the week that so you want to keep your vibrations high no matter what you want to keep your vibrations high very positive because you have a lot of ideas 
a lot of ideas, but so do other people have ideas now that you're not necessarily an open book like you used to be because it was causing you such a lot of anxiety. This is where you hear people say, keep things close to the cuff. You know, you're trying to get something. You don't need a bunch of distractions while you're trying to get stuff done, right? A lot of stuff floating through the air. A lot of people have a whole lot of ideas about you, what you're doing, those kind of things, right? And so if you know seven of cups, seven is the number for completion. If there are energies that's in poisonous environments, you may not tell some of your colleagues anymore that you are going to write a book because out of their excitement, let's give them the benefit of the doubt, out of their excitement, who knows, they may be looking to be a part of a conversation in the workplace. Oh, guess what? Gemini's getting ready to write a book. Right? So, they may have some ideas about you. Oh, you're up to something, you're sneaky, you're this and that, whatever. And on the negative side, still keep your vibrations high. Right? Here we have the two of wands here. Yeah, so... You're not motivated by something anymore. Something you're just not motivated by. It's caused you to just way too much anxiety to just go along with everybody else's flow. It's because you used to be an open book. You're just not anymore. You're not motivated by that anymore because you're not looking for people's acceptance and approval anymore. So you kind of moved on from that. You're just taking your power back. You got enough information. Here we have the King of Pentacles here. Yeah. So that's like the so person who's at the top of their, like, in terms of information, you've gotten enough information. You've gotten enough information. So congratulations in advance to somebody. You've gotten enough information about some things. Again, keep your vibration, just keep your vibrations as high as possible because you have a lot of ideas floating around in your mind. You know, I feel like somebody will, will start writing a book or screenplay, something you're doing. You've been reading a lot of stuff, so that could be you're doing something. Something where you're increasing your learning and your knowledge, so... Congratulations to somebody. Congratulations to somebody. So, yeah. Yeah. Here we have the seven of um, pentacles here. So some new seeds are being planted for growth. New seeds are being planted for growth. So you have enough You have enough information at this point where you're saying, okay, it's time for you to grow your, um, You. it's time for you to grow your wealth, right? Time You're growing your wealth now. Yep, you're growing your wealth now. So, yeah, yeah. So now you're saying, you know, you just want to, you know, take better care, you know, of yourself. You're just planting some seeds. You're going to take better care of yourself. You all are investing in yourselves. You know, just kind of looking at the long term view, focusing on you, right? Um, being very generous, you know, uh, with yourselves. Um, there's a lot of, um, you've given a lot, you know, of yourselves when you were looking for acceptance and approval. You've given a lot of yourself. You give you, like I said, you were an open book at one point. That's why you have this in the page of, um, on the, in this particular card. You just kind of was an open book. Well, guess what? I'm about to write a book. I'm reading this. I'm doing this. I'm so open and this and that. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, some new, like I said, you have enough information now. But like I said, you're planting some new seeds. You've just come through a lot of, like this right here. There wasn't a whole lot of growth in that. You know, here's the nine of uh, wands. So, you have come through a long and arduous journey. You know, just not a whole lot of growth when you, like I said, even if people's intentions are sincere, you know, when you're an open book and you sit, when you know that, you know, you were, if you work in a toxic environment and you're trying to write a book and you're trying to stay focused, even if everybody around you is excited, you know, for this book, source is saying, you still got to protect your energy. You still got to protect because you could be bringing, you could be creating your own nightmares. You could be creating your own nightmares. You're not trying to go back into that. You're not trying to go back. So you got to protect your energy, right? So again, source is saying, this is where you pour into you. So if you're having negative thoughts about something, you're crying and you're sad and some thoughts, something triggers something, drink some water, you may have to, you know, just kind of be get by yourself, like kind of like this person right here on the car is just like, okay, go, go off, you know, somewhere by yourself, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So take the blindfolds off. Yeah. Take the blindfolds off. 
Yeah, take the blindfolds off. It's, it's like, you know, talking to some energies, you know. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. So it's a sign, like, um, you're going to feel very fortunate, you know, that um, you're learning how to take your power back. You know, the sooner you learn how to take your power back, the better. The better off you'll be. You know, so your anxiety will, you know, go away very, very soon. So here we have the Eight of Pentacles here. And the Eight of Pentacles here. So when I look here, it's, I feel like somebody is going to do... How you're going to, like some new seeds are being planted. You're working hard to, you know, being patient with yourself, planting some new seeds. Is that somebody is really sharpening their skills. This is the Eight of Pentacles here. You're going to really start sharpening your skills, spending a lot of time reading, studying, um, something that you're doing. A lot of time studying. That's what I'm seeing here for somebody. Um, whatever it is you're doing. But I feel like somebody is writing a book screenplay something you're writing because you have a lot of ideas about a lot of things so this is nice well whoever it is uh gemini i want to read your book <laughs> i want to read it i get a lot of um, text messages and phone calls from people who are telling me they're writing books i want to read it i like to read people's books especially if i've talked to you before i like to read your book so nice very nice okay I don't know who I'm talking to. Somebody writing a book or something you're doing. You're writing a screenplay or something. So let's see what else you got going on. Because that's, that's like looks like it's one of somebody's um, streams of income. You got a lot of incoming information about a lot of things. About a lot of things. And so I feel like, you know, you got to be careful of who you're talking to when you one of those sword moments comes in. Like one of the hurt moments come in and you know when pe and you're who you're sharing those hurt mo incoming moments with right um because some people will take it and it'll just turn you but going from nine of swords back to eight of swords it's like you're going backwards and almost forget how much work you put into something right and so source is saying you know and to give people the wrong idea it gives people the wrong idea you know about you um, and so the source is saying, well, you work so hard to, um, you know, wake up from a nightmare. You don't want them to keep talking about the same, you know, hurts over and over and over again. So, yeah. So. And then also it's giving more people, you know, even more, you know, information, more knowledge. Here we have two of wands. So, yeah. But yeah, it looks like it says you have the whole, you have the, you know, whole world in front of you. Except this person right here is holding the globe. You have the whole world in front of you. You know, a lot of op uh, opportunities coming your way. So yeah. Um, so here we have the hermit card. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody could be in hermit mode going through a kind of a molting process, you know, just analyzing everything, just learning how to take your power back. You know, just be, just kind of being in receiving mode, just processing, analyzing your own thoughts, you know, about things. And again, the the you're at the end of a you're at the end of something, right? And so, source is saying, see how far along you've come on your journey. That's why that's why somebody's saying like, take the blindfolds off. Your ancestors are saying, take the blindfolds off. See how far you've come on your journey. Like, you've really come far in your journey. Like, analyze that. Like, light the candle from within. Like, you're so enlightened, like, where you are right now. And so, and so you're going to feel like it's going to be this, like, this unexpected um, change, but, like, in a good way to see just how far you've been. Um, I think somebody's going to be really surprised this week. Like, um, and just... Um, Even if, even if energy, even if you had a, even if somebody could have had like a weak moment or something, it just kind of like, you just kind of pull yourself back out of a weak moment. That's what I feel like, because you're going to be just trying to shock yourselves. Like just, it just like, you know, just like you have the whole world in front of you. That's the two of wands here, right? Yep. Here's a justice card. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, you're moving on from something. You're not doing an injustice to yourselves anymore. Now that you, you kind of sit back and analyze some things, you're not doing an injustice to yourselves. Somebody says, oh, you're leaving that behind. Something would just be a bad risk for you to just, you know, stay connected to something, whoever, whatever it is. So here we have the three of wands here. Yeah, so I see you taking a leap of faith. 
Yeah, I see you taking a leap of faith and moving forward, just leaving some energies behind. Yeah, two of cups. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have a cancer somewhere in your life, um, Gemini, that you feel more comfortable talking with, whoever this is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Which kind of takes us back to Queen of Cups here. Um, cancer Pisces, somebody. I don't know if that sounds familiar to somebody. You don't have to drop any comments below. You just drop like click heart or whatever. You don't have to put the com you can if you want to put a comment below. Not necessarily to who the person is. You know, protect your energy. But I feel like somebody could have a very nurturing energy around you. That's what I feel like. You could have a nurturing energy that maybe you get like tea or coffee or something with, or maybe um, yeah, have some good conversation. If not, the energy is coming across your path. That's what I feel like. The energy is coming across your path. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I also feel like at some point for somebody, um, if you're not in a romantic situation, but I feel like this Two of Cups energy is a platonic energy. Just let me say that first. I feel like this is a platonic energy, right? Because I'm not picking up romantic first. That's not that's that's not what I'm picking up first for somebody. I feel like this is platonic, strictly platonic. Like y'all are just like. You, you know, you have those kind of friends, or maybe it's a budding friendship or something like that, where it's just strictly platonic, this this situation here. But it's exactly what your spirit needs. Um, so you don't go back into a loop of people getting the wrong idea about how far you've come. They don't really know. You know, sometimes you, you meet people at a certain chapter, and you could have a sword moment where you just feel like, like you're your 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 um balloon is just like deflating right and people just get that idea of you right but this is an energy either already in your life gemini or it's coming across your path they're not coming to save you but it's just like um um Your soul is connected in some way. You're, they, you feel what they feel, they, you feel, and vice versa, right? But then after that, for those of you all who want love in your life, then there is a um, um, Knight of Cups coming across somebody's path, if that's what you want, if that's what somebody wants, right? And that energy is... Um, That energy really likes art. That energy really likes music. That energy is will be aesthetically pleasing to you. You're aesthetically pleasing to them. Like in other words, you're their type. They're they're your type. That type of for those of you all who want to be in a romantic relationship, um, they are very compassionate. Like they genuinely, they're um, empathetic. They are really, really a sweetheart. Like they're really a sweetheart. They're very compassionate. They um they are a um they're very confident. Like they their energy is some people will almost look at it as almost like um You'll know that it's not arrogance, but if a person was kind of watching them from afar, their confidence may be confused with arrogance, but it's not. It's but you'll know that it's just their confidence, because um, they're they're really an excellent leader. You know, some people just want to call people arrogant just for the sake of calling somebody arrogant, right? But but you something about something about their energy, you'll know that they're confident because. It's almost like, uh, you know, like sometimes people will say about uh, uh, entertainers or sports figures, oh, that person is arrogant, but then, you know, off the stage, off the field, they're just really kind of meek and mild. That's just a persona, they, you know, to give them the confidence, like an alter ego on stage, because otherwise they would just, you know, faint from just fear <laughs> of, you know, performing in front of that many people. But, you know, off stage, they're just like barely talk. You know, so they almost like they have to be extroverted on stage, but they're really an introvert, right? They probably just, you know, hardly ever leave the house, but they have to be an extrovert um, on stage. That's, this person is like, you know, 
they kind of, they know how to turn it on and turn it off. But they're just like this, their confidence. But you know, the confidence comes from source on the inside of them, right? So they're, they're really, they're an excellent leader. This person is. And so, but they, and, and they're, they're, um, their cup is full. Their cup is, of water is full. So they're they're empathetic. They're compassionate. They really, they're, like I said, they're sweetheart. You'll know who they are. You'll know who they are. It's exactly what your spirit prayed for. It's exactly what your spirit prayed for. But they're two, they're two separate people. Two separate people. So, yeah. Two separate people. Right? Yeah. One is kind of like the hangout person. Kiki laugh. Let's go get some tea. Let's go get some coffee. How you doing? That kind of energy. The other one. Um, if you if you're in the market for dating, that could be the that could be the dating kind of spirit. All right, so that's what I'm seeing for you coming up. All right. Hopefully that works for somebody. So yeah, I'm gonna say it. But you're definitely ending something. You're, at, you're ending something. But the sooner somebody um, recognizes when you're going back into a loop of hurt this, and you work so hard to come out of that, you've like literally done the work. You've done the energy work, the shadow work, the all of that, right? See this right here? This person is like at a, you kind of see like um, that moonlight. Somebody woke up and said, oh, no, no, you've already done the shadow work. Or right? you're not, mm -mm, no, keeping your vibration high. They will put you back in a... Kind of like a poisonous that's just not mm -mm, kind of sort of like in a poisonous um you know situation like mm -mm, no so yeah so he would speak it into existence and so solar plexus chakra cleanse somebody's in a crisis i don't know who that would be but um your peace is paramount somebody's an incubus whoever that is um but wealth is within your reach it's time to journal your journey. Somebody's look, somebody is looking for you to save them. I don't know who that is, but somebody could be looking for you to save them in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and they're kind of really struggling with that incubus spirit, which is a sex demon. So, um, But uh, wealth is within your reach, and journal your journey. Back straight, walk away. You want to keep on moving forward. Your next love interest will make you happier, but... Um, the answers you seek are coming. Don't give yourselves a headache. It's time to expand your brand. Um, your well of joy is within you. The best is yet to come. Um, it's you versus you. Um, you are protected and loved. Somebody apologizes for hurting you. Whoever that was, whoever that is. But your mental health is just as important as your physical health. And so you are protected by angels. And um, be patient. The answers are coming. Third eye chakra cleanse. Third eye chakra cleanse. Yeah. But somebody was like on the verge of going back into this loop of just, um, you know, putting yourself back into a loop of like this, you wanted somebody to save you, you know, from something and you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. So, cause it looks like I said, you, you come really, really far. You work really hard to come out of that. So good for you. Good for you. Um, Gemini's. This is like I said. This is gonna be a great. This is gonna be a great, great, great week for you all. So I look forward to that. Keep your vibrations high. Don't forget to set your intentions either. Don't forget to set your intentions. Intentions are very powerful. There's a book called. Um, oh boy, um, there's so many different book titles flying around in my head. <laughs> I think it's it's called the Book of Intentions. Hold on, um, I'm gonna look it up. Hold on for a second. Cause I hate like saying like mixing titles of books up and then I'm gonna give you the name of the book but anyway what do you need to release what do you, that's what this part right here waning moon I think we're in the waning moon phase and so that's like uh, banishing repelling you know releasing any uh, dark spells and stuff like that any kind of dark spells especially since I'm saying somebody has at least eight streams of income that could mean that um, if anybody was putting any kind of money spells like try to um, cut your money in half or like um, those kind of things that people will try to do like trying to be creative and trying to drain you of your money in some way shape form, or fashion Gemini those are things that you want to ask source for clarity on those areas too since I see your money growing so be very careful with that uh, hold on for a second let me see um, book of intentions. I'm going to get this title for you all. Hold on, since I know you all like to read. Hold on. Um, uh, was this the name of it? Uh, 
Well, it's a, it's a lot. It, okay, I don't know that this is the one because it doesn't look like the one that I have. But I mean, this this could be some um these could be some um some cool ones. This is called oh, the Book of Intentions. I don't know. Maybe that'd be something you all can look up. You know, and and look and see if that may be something that you want to um you know uh look at before you purchase. I mean, I don't know, but there's a, there's a lot of books, you know, like about intentions, like helping you set intentions for your day, but it's just it's a very uh, powerful practice just to know that, you know, you know, our creator gave us the the power to set an intention, you know, tone for our day. So, but if something somebody needs to release. Somebody um needs to kind of like I guess somebody needs to release this need to save everybody, like to be this like knight you know, to kind of save everybody from something, right? Um, here we have 33, I'm expanding. So any positive changes or projects that you're considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened, 33. That's what I have for you. Thank you for uh, joining me. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.